Hi folks, time for another YouTube video. Um, it's my last day of being 60 today and the missus thought she would get me a nice wee steak and a nice bottle of wine to go with it. So let's have a Here look. Here we go. <laughs> have a look at this bad boy. It's a tomahawk obviously. I've um, never had a steak so big in my life. Uh, let's just have a wee quick trick here. Get measure out. There we go, full two and a half inches thick. Um, um, oh, she also got me this lovely award winning big steak mile back. So what I've done with the steak, uh, well, I'll obviously do it the best way I can. plan is to do a reverse sear, which I've done before. Slow roast it in the oven, really low, really slow. And that way you get it nice and even cooked throughout. And then a quick sear in the pan, just two minutes each side in the pan, just to give that nice sear on the outside. But to even enhance the flavour even more, what I did was to uh, a process called dry browning, which you know, kind of probably see a, a salt and pepper cook on the outside. So you do that, uh, 48 hours in advance, so this has been in the fridge for two days. The brine kind of draws the salt into, into the, well, first of all, absorbs all the moisture out of the meat and then draws it back in like a salty brine and just gives that flavour an extra wee kick. Uh, so that's about it. I'm going to um, bang in the oven here for probably an hour and a half, two hours, and it'll just cook really slow. And I'll be using the the meat from on there to just make sure that we're getting the, uh, the middle on the middle up to about 125 degrees. So we'll be checking it back. Sure. So I think that's us pretty much here. Um, I'll take a bit of a look. Don't like that pretty one there, half cooked. But it's good. So I think that should be us. Pretty much cooked. That's about an hour and a half, an hour and forty minutes. Uh, just let's have a look. It don't look particularly pretty at this stage. Because really, what you're doing is just slow cooking it through. But it's all about getting that temperature around about your one two five. That's pretty darn close, 126, 126 and a half. Very good, let's get around it here. Ooh. And we're just putting um, the pan up pretty hot. Got the oil with a nice high smoke point. Don't need too much, but. Apparently these pans are made to kind of heat more slowly because it doesn't warm. So let's go pretty close to there. Got the garlic and the butter ready. I just want to see a wee bit of smoke coming off the pan. And then we'll... I hope this thing fits in. <laughs> I'm not sure it will. I got a quick modification so that we could make it fit into the pan. Um, we have our oil up to temperature now, just a nice big smoke on it. Really just want to get this back down here. Bollocks. So we've had a few modifications, folks. We had to take the bone off. I tried cutting it in half. Still didn't fit in the pan. My missus did tell me to measure it first, and I just left. Anyway, <laughs> pan's nicely up to temperature, just on that smoke point. And I'm going to get her in here. And do a nice panelization. All around. Two minutes. Each side, and that's the deal. Okay, that's about two minutes. Um, and for the first turn, I haven't had a look at this yet. Oh, it's looking really good. Maybe it's not too hot of anything, but yeah, it'll be good in Okay, and that's the second side done. That should be, uh, oh, it's looking just perfect, lovely. Just going to render down the body part. To be honest, it's the bigger chunk most of the fat off. Saved me about 50 days. And what I'm going to do now is just to get that to sit up a wee bit. Get a little bit of butter in the pan. A couple of cloves of garlic. And we're going to sign it off. Whee! That's how we got it on there. 
Seer steak, but uh, the onion rings weren't quite ready. So, anyway, this is a big reveal. This is when you want to see. I'm just going to cut right through the middle. And then, uh, did we get the pinkness all through? I think that looks pretty damn good. Uh, there's only one real way to test it. Cut a nice wee slice. And go for the taste test. That's pretty damn good. Crunchy on the outside, full of flavour on the inside. Oh, I can't wait. Chips, salad, onion rings, pepper sauce. Here I go. Thank you. 